I mean, what's amazing about these performances for me is that the sound on that stage is so different to what you guys hear. Hi guys, welcome to uh, another another roundup. Um, I'm sorry, I haven't been very active lately. Um, as you can tell by the sound of this, uh, I am not very well right now, but I feel like um, I'm just coming out at the back end of that now, which is great. And um, yeah, not me for six, so I'll be honest with you. I'm very excited about the Conjuring movie coming out. And I was very sad that I, get, I got left off the, the promo list and they sent everyone like a weird, um, like satanic promo thing that I thought was quite cool. I saw, I think it was AJ Tracy had one. Maybe it was, maybe it wasn't, I think it was, but he threw it out because it's rather scary. Um, but that movie's coming out, so I'm gonna go and watch that somewhere soon. What else have I been up to? I've had a new haircut since the last video. Uh, which was really long and I look like a completely different person now. Actually, from my whole phone book, I look like 50 different people. Like, I, you know when you have like that thing on your iPhone that tells you um, this is the faces that you have in your phone book? Um, I have like 10 or 15 different people <laughs> in my thing. Um, I feel like this has become like a Harry Styles constant impression. Maybe I've just took his voice on for something. Um, no, it's not as good as it was when I was when I was well, actually, which is annoying. No, I just sound like an idiot. Uh, I've recently taken up jujitsu, uh, which has been fun, but obviously being sick, you can't do jujitsu when you're ill, so that's been really annoying. I think the one thing I'm learning about myself is if I don't train or work out, then I become a depressive madman, um, which has been difficult. Uh, no, I have to do some training, and very fortunate where I am at the moment. Obviously, my son is four now and he needs to learn how to swim. So I've been trying to learn to teach him how to swim, which is tasking. Um, I think as a dad, I tend to push quite hard sometimes, um, which is tough to know the right balance. His mom was really good at it, to be fair. His mom was quite good at that stuff. Um, but yeah, it's been hard. We've been doing a lot of circle push is what I've gone for as a learning tactic. If anyone out there is a swimming instructor and would like to send me a how-to video on how to train your child, um, that would be good. Thank you very much. Um, I'm saying erm um a lot today. I need to stop saying erm um to start with. Count the erms from now. Um. <laughs> uh, at least we're laughing. No, I've, uh, it's been a weird couple of weeks. I've just moved house, so I'm kind of getting used to that at the moment, which has been fun. I find when I move house, I struggle to be artistic quite a lot. Um, oh, crap. Yeah, so drawing's been quite difficult, but I've been making some new designs for stuff that I'm sure you guys are going to see uh, very, very shortly. Mm. I was trying to teach my child about trailers. I was trying to teach Bear about tra a movie trailer. Not like a trailer, trailer like a movie trailer. And he kept asking me, why, Daddy, why does the movie keep playing the same bits? Because I played in the trailer, I was like, oh, you know, like, we watched the trailer to see if we would like the movie. It was for that new film, um, Disney film, uh, Raya and the, and the Dragon, Raya and the Last Dragon, I think it was. It was good. You should watch it. Uh, and he was like, oh, why does it keep playing itself? And I was like, how do I explain this to his tiny four-year-old brain, how a trailer works? I kind of went with, you know, if you like some food and you like try some food first, then you realize you want some more. That's what a movie trailer is. <laughs> He's done it again. No, but I've been good. We've been spending a lot of time together recently, which has been fantastic. Yeah, it's been it's been uh, it's been a good few weeks, uh, a weird, strange few weeks, and a very pure, poorly coughing few weeks. Um, I feel sorry for anybody else out there who is also sick at the moment. But as the good old British people say, it is going around. Oh, that sounded like Thor. That's God. Ooh, maybe that's a good impression. Maybe I'll keep this voice. I'm Dale. <laughs> so you guys have sent in some favorite pieces of, you guys sent in some artwork and I've basically chosen my favorite pieces. 
we have many ideas for doing some stuff around this and obviously I've been drawing and I know how long it takes and I know it's a lot of stress. Drawing's really, I love drawing, it stresses me out. It's great, it's hard, it's difficult, it's fun all at the same time. But I've often been inspired by you guys on, on that front and the stuff that you do at home. Uh, so we're gonna take a look at those now. Now the idea originally was that I was gonna print some of these out and sign them and send them back to you guys who've drawn them, these beautiful pictures. Um, but I can't really be sending you my germs right now at the moment, so I'm gonna have to wait until I get better, and then I'm gonna send you a signed copy of your own drawing. Uh, and we're gonna flash some of those on screen now. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Is it weird to call a, a drawing of yourself beautiful? I don't know. We're about to find out. Okay, so you may have heard me mention this. You might have seen it in a newspaper or online somewhere. Do people read newspapers anymore? I don't know. Um, <coughs> sorry. I should be wearing a mask, but I'm gonna infect my camera. Um, NFTs. NFTs, it's a really difficult world to understand. Um, I gave a slight overview uh, last time, but here's a bit more on this. Um, you know, I've been working on these and, and I think a lot of people struggle to understand why, why, why people are going crazy about buying online videos. <clears throat> well, it's like if you had a piece of artwork, you wouldn't buy a copy of the piece of artwork. You'd want the art that was from the actual artist. Well, this is digital that. I think it's a good way to explain so far. Um, I really, so I think I sound like Thor. I'm, I'm gonna be shocked when I listen to this back and I sound, you know, you hear yourself back and you sound nothing like you thought you did. Oh no, Thor's in a cage. No, I think that's quite good, that's spot on. Let's see, uh, answers on a postcard. NFTs, so I've been working on an NFT for some time. It's all kind of based around lockdown. A little bit of fame twisted in there as well. And just kind of how I was feeling at the start of this. And I think a lot of us would have been feeling quite the same. I made this quite ethereal, wonderful character, which I'm gonna to reveal to you very soon. Um, he is, and he gets locked in this cage and he can fly, but he can't fly. So now he's stuck. So I, you know, I thought that was, you know, a lot of us might have felt that way, stuck inside and, and, and locked off from the, from the beautiful things outside that we can't get to, uh, which yes, was, was difficult in the lockdown. So I've been buying a few of these things as well. And these are some of my favorites and some of the ones that I have. Check it out. I like it. This is by the wonderful Zed and Silly Gabe. Looks like there's a Egyptian Egyptian ceremony going on there with a big big ball. <coughs> oh my god. It's hot. Uh, we're gonna get through this. It's fine. Um yeah, so that was the Zed and City game dropped from a little while ago. Some very good friends of mine. I mean, Zed already was a friend of mine. There's a scorpion locked in a chained piece of diamond glass. Very cool. Very, very cool. Uh, and uh, Blau, which is spelt with a three. Three Lau. Blau. Blau. Um, check it out. These guys are really, really cool, making some cool stuff at the moment, and I'm really enjoying it. Now, a lot of us spend a lot of our time on, on TikTok and, and ticking and talking, and, and one person who's really come through with that, with some of the amazing things that he said for me, was Gary V. Uh, and we're actually working on something together at the moment, <laughs> which is really cool. He's a very, very cool guy. Um, I definitely look up to him in a lot of respects as, as a businessman and, and amongst other things. Um, but he says some really, really deep, meaningful stuff that sometimes just makes you stop and go, hmm, yeah. You know, you get one of those little moments where you just get caught, like, that is meaningful and deep. It's deeply meaningful. You know? So that's what Gary Vee has been doing for me. So we started to connect a little bit, which is great. Uh, and yeah, I got a lot of love for him. Um, and you're gonna see some, some things he's talking about to do with some stuff that I've been talking about very soon. I feel like these videos are constantly just the most teasy videos ever. Like we never really have anything to actually, <laughs> I, can, I can tell you, but we're close. Magic, it had been four years since the release of Strip That Down. It's four years of stripping it down. Um, it still feels like yesterday I was sat on the release 
absolutely tired out of my mind. I've been up since like 5 a.m. or whatever it was and, and didn't really sleep very well. I mean, on release days, you don't sleep very well anyway. I don't feel so. Um, and then, yeah, I was playing it on a piano in a room with uh, Steve Mack, which was great. And obviously, Ed Sheeran, thank you for coming through and write, you know helping write such a wonderful song for me. Um, and it was cool. I mean, I was nervous about this release. Obviously, it's, you know, the famous line about the band, which I was really unsure about at the time, but I just thought it was quite witty. I didn't really get much trouble for it from the boys, so I guess that's what we most commonly know as a pass. And it went really well. I mean, we had over a billion streams, I think, which is wild when you actually think about that number. But I can only really thank you guys. Oh, there I am in 2017, all fresh face with my Armani on. I think I still have those, okay, that's another choice of dress. I remember being very hyper on this particular day. Uh, yeah, I think I was, I was with Rita Ora. Love you, Reets. Okay, and then 2019, it all went a bit, I don't know everyone, I'm sophisticated for a moment. Just for a little moment, it looks sophisticated. And then, and, 2021, it seems like the wheels fell off. No, I am. Um, I enjoyed growing my hair out for a bit. It was a lot of fun. Uh, and I'm hanging out with myself. So there's another me now as well. This sounds like the weirdest film trailer ever. And then we've got a, you know, someone with not much hair and then someone who looks like an apostle. <laughs> and then we've got now this. What the hell's going on? Nobody knows. See, I told you, there's like 20 different faces. This is what I said at the start of the video. Oh, here he goes. I was nervous as hell for this one. This was scary. Look at the size of that face. <laughs> I mean, what's amazing about these performances for me is that the sound on that stage is so different to what you guys hear. It scares the hell out of you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's throw some hips. Do it. Why not? Why the hell not? Still haven't got that Ferrari. I don't know where the hell it must have got lost in the phone. Now this is the bit that I was most nervous about. Oh, here we go. Hey, what's this? It's a very interesting guitar chords. I like it. That's not me. <laughs> I like it. Well done, boys. This is great. Six gears B. Oh, yeah, we got a little block going on as well now. Oh, the guy on the left's really giving it this, this the high the high ones. Or is it the guy on the left? Really good. I have a new song that I made a while ago. I went to Sweden and I was in that square where um, where the police made us go one time and wave at everyone because there was like people, there was like 3,000 people or something in the square. Right in the old studio, ex exactly where uh, What Makes You Beautiful was recorded actually. Funnily enough, I've been with Carl Falk who's been uh, writing with me, which has been great, and Albin, who I haven't seen for a very long time, but nothing much has changed except everything, as we've just seen by those flash of pictures. Um, so that's coming soon. I don't have a date for that. So there's another little tease just to throw on, you know, on the rest of the teasers that were in the teased 
teasy video. Mm. I am, um, yeah, I think I'm gonna spend the next few days just trying to stay well and get better from whatever this is. I did a test and it wasn't Corona, which is always a scary thing. Um, yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, we were supposed to do something for World Hunger Day as well, I wanna say this, because uh, I was really upset that I couldn't go down and, and help out. Uh, obviously, you guys know that I work quite closely with Trussell, and I was meant to go down and do something, and I had to pull out last minute, which was really annoying, um, for World Hunger Day. So I'm gonna repeat that in the next few weeks when I am better, uh, as it's just, in a time like this, there's no, no point going down if you're, you know, like I am right now. Yeah, I'm excited. Those, those are the things I'm most excited about in the next few weeks. Um, along with the NFT that's coming as well. Um, so uh, there's going to be a load more videos coming to explain a lot of this stuff to you in the meantime because I know it's confusing as hell some of it. Um, yeah, but hopefully you guys are feeling pretty good. Um, it's nice to, to speak to you again. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll send those, those things out to those people who drew me. Thank you very much for drawing me. Um, have a good day, guys. I'll see you later.